Hi, you're watching News with me, Meher Sheikh. Let's begin with the top headlines. Things are inching forward for the BJP in Haryana as seven independent MLAs and Haryana Lokhit Party's Gopal Kanda extended support to the BJP. Reportedly, the oath-taking ceremony is likely to place in Haryana today. Haryana CM Manohar Lal Khattar, meanwhile, held a meeting today with the BJP working president JP Nadda and said that he is optimistic that the BJP will form government in Haryana. The Enforcement Directorate is likely to move a review petition before the Supreme Court against the Delhi High Court order granting bail to Karnataka Congress leader D.K. Shiv Kumar in a money laundering case. The move comes after the CBI also decided to seek a review of the bail granted to former Finance Minister P. Chitamram in the INX media case. Congress is still hopeful of forming a government in Haryana. The Congress's projected CM face, Bhupinder Singh Hoda, says he is hopeful but a practical man who is ready for the unexpected. The Congress had sent pillars to the JJP as it became clear that it holds the key to government formation but received no response. Dushyant Chautala is said to be holding out for a CM post. Hoda said that the party would decide whether to go with that arrangement or not. Meanwhile, Congress interim President Sonia Gandhi took a meeting at the party headquarters to sort a further course of action. This is the first party think tank meeting. BJP is back in Maharashtra, but after suffering a few reverses in Vidarbha and Maratwada, BJP managed 105 seats on its own. Way below the halfway mark of 144, CM Fadnavis became the second CM of Maharashtra to complete a full five-year term. Sena reminded BJP of 50-50 power-sharing formula, hinting that the CM post too should be rotated. Two months after the abrogation of Article 370 in Jammu and Kashmir, the BJP won only 81 of 280 blocks that went to the polls in the Block Development Council elections in Jammu and Kashmir, held under tight security on Thursday. BJP managed to get only about a third of the blocks in its stronghold of Jammu division, winning 52 of 148 blocks. The BJP was the only major political party in fray, with the National Conference, PDP and Congress staying away to protest uh, detention of their leaders and curbs imposed following the center's August 5th decision. Former Karnataka CMHD Kumaraswamy hit backs at Congress's Sida Ramaya after the latter said that if there are fresh re-elections in Karnataka, Congress would contest without the JDS. Kumaraswamy asked Sida Ramaya to honestly answer who caused the damage to the 14-month-old Karnataka government and made it collapse. Kumar Swami also alleged that the former alliance partner criticized him every day. U.S. has placed the onus of talks between India and Pakistan on the latter, stressing that for dialogue to be possible, Pakistan has to take irreversible steps against terror. A U.S. official also said that President Trump has offered to mediate between India and Pak only if both parties agree, even though it has been India's position to not seek outside help. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more updates.